Welcome to another video with Mel. Today I am doing a haul for my fourth day in Tokyo. Um, so we played a lot of games in Akabara today and we went to a fancy dinner at the Park Hyatt which is really really nice and really enjoyed it. It was very expensive but it was nice. Um, I don't have very much video from there but I've got some uh, photos because they didn't want you taking videos in the actual like restaurant, the New York Grill. So I took some photos in there and I'll put that in a separate video. Um, I've also got some like video just of the inside of the hotel as well if anybody wants to see it. So let's start with things that uh, we won. So because we just literally got back from doing that. So this is something Chris won. It's a little figure. Don't know anything about this one. I'm sure someone's going, oh my god, it's from this. And it's like, I have no idea. Um, yeah, so she's cute. Yeah, lots of cute little figures. This one was pretty easy to win. He won it in like about three, I think it was. Uh, so three coins, so did pretty well for 300 yen, I think. Um, I've been instructed not to open it up, so I can't open it up, guys. But he won that one. And then I'll just put that in the bed so it's out of the way. And then he also won this one as well. Um, so this is like a hunter girl with an arrow. And she looks pretty cool as well. So this is the box. So yeah. So he won both of those earlier. He's better at the box ones than I am. I'm better at plush, really. Um, we also got this little sushi guy. We won him in a machine. And I don't know what this says, but it looks kind of cool next to him. And he's got a little shrimp. Not shrimp. Squid. Squid on him. So he's a little sushi with squid. <laughs> he's very cute. Trying to get some of the stuff out of the way. And then I also got... I love this one as well. So I won a Niko Asumi cat with the watermelon ball. Um, there was some other Niko Asumi in one of the other machines, but it was completely rigged, so there was no way I was actually going to get it. Um, it was one of the small metal claws, but when you went to actually go and try and get the thing, they never actually closed. So, um, I wasted about two coins on that before I realized I was not going to get anything because it wasn't actually closing on them properly. So, this was in another machine. Um, there wasn't actually very many other nice ones in there. It was just really the watermelon one. It was the only one in there, so I got that one. But if I see any more, I'll be look on the lookout for more of them. And I got that from a Sega Joyopolis. Which is a cool place to go, and you should all go there. Um, also got loads of Gachapon today. One accidentally. Um, so, I'll show you the one I got accidentally at first. I was trying to get a different one. Um, but because the machines were stacked, I didn't, I wasn't paying enough attention, and I was like looking at one, but then I put the money in the one above it, <laughs> silly enough, so I got this like dog, I'm not really happy with it, I'm probably going to put it in the kawaii box, I could pick some other things up for you guys, so, um, I'm sure someone else will like it, because I'm not really a dog person, unfortunately, um, so it's a little dog, and it's wearing a little, like, babushka hat, I would say, um, these are the other ones in the set she could have got, so if I would have got like, a dog with, like, the shark, Hat. I probably would have kept it, but it's not really to my taste. I prefer cats um, to dogs, so eh, it's not. It's a bit eh, to me. I don't care that much. So yeah, so there's a little dog. So that's probably going to go in the quiet box. I'll show you some other stuff I picked up today. To um, not not the 500 subscriber quiet box, but this will be my September prize box. Um, so uh, that will be given away at the end of September, beginning of October. Okay, and then the next thing I got, this is what I was actually trying to get, <laughs> and I messed up. So this is like a cat piece of toast on a cat plate, and then it comes with like little silverware and like a little jar of honey. So I really like this, cute little cat food set. Uh, this is the other ones in the set. Yeah, lots of good stuff. They were all really, really cute, so um, I saw any of I get the probably gonna be okay. I like the waffle maker the best actually, but I didn't get that one. But I'm happy with the one I got. It's pretty cute. Uh, and then the last thing I got was another Niko Asumi thing, and this was a gachapon. It was more expensive than the other ones. This one was 300 yen as opposed to the other ones that were two, which is a little bit of a rip off, but I got cat. Um, the little house with the cat and he goes and he sticks up on top. I was like, at first I thought, why does he have a jackhammer? <laughs> but it actually just goes in the top of the house. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got that one as well. I'll show you guys that. And these are the other ones in the set you could have got as well. Um, I quite like 
I quite like the hamburger cat and I like both the cats with the balls as well. I think I would have liked either one of those. Well, the ball and the mouse. I would have liked either one of those as well. I'm happy with the one I got though. I'm, I wasn't too picky about that. And then um, earlier in the day, we went to Harajuku and I spent way, way, way too much money. Um, I went to Kittyland and went with nuts. Also found a shop that sold a whole bunch of like 90s stuff and bought loads of stuff from there. Uh, and then like also bought some cute like girly things. So this one was the first bag that's in front of me. I can't actually remember what's in this. And I can't see my scissors. Where are my scissors gone? They were here, but I think I need them in the bathroom. So I'm just going to break the seal. I think I took them in the bathroom. So this is the first thing I got. And this is a t-shirt. Um, very cute. I did try to make sure it would fit. And it is a Tsum Tsum t-shirt. And I just really like the design of this. I really like, um, like, navy and white stripes. I own a lot of clothes with, like, stripes like this. So I quite like the Tsum Tsums on this one. I think this is, like, the most expensive thing I got in Harajuku as well. So that was cute. And that's all the thing on its own. So let's go to the next bag. And this has got a couple different things in there. Ah, I went to the Tamagotchi store. I'm trying to remember why I did. I went to the Tamagotchi store. Um, I went there last time as well, but I didn't buy very much last time. I don't think I bought anything last time. This time, I went a bit nuts, and I bought loads of stuff. Uh, first of all, they've got this little, like, paper thing so you can, um, use it for your Tamagotchi figures to make them stand up. Um, I don't really need that. Oh, my umbrella's in here as well. <laughs> I was like, why is this bag so you look so big? Uh, first thing I got, I won this. Um, they have like a little prize draw thing and if you pay 500 yen you could draw and pick something and so I won this like little memo pad, pencils and uh, eraser stationery set. That's cool. It's got a weird picture on the back. <laughs> so that was quite nice. You could have won a Tamagotchi as well so it was a big draw to kind of do that. And then I got these like little Tamagotchi guys and they kind of look like Tsum Tsum so um, I got them and they kind of like... I remember this kind of Tamagotchi from when I was younger and then the duck one as well. I don't know much about this girly one, but I picked it because it had the kind of original Tamagotchis in it. And I thought they were cute. And you got three for a certain amount. They were a little bit more expensive individually. And you're supposed to use these paper cuts. You're supposed to cut them out and then stick the heads on top of them so they're like, they have bodies. But I won't be doing that. I'll just be displaying them along with my symptoms. So that was Tamagotchi store. Next thing we got, another little bag in here, open this up, so I can't actually, oh this is um, oh it's a donut bar here at, um, Family Mart, put that over there, have <laughs> that a bit, um, so the next things I've got here are some Daiso, so I've got quite a lot of stuff from Daiso actually, the first thing I got, um, I'm thinking about getting a rice cooker to have at home, um, so I thought it'd be nice to have a rice pad paddle, and then I saw Mickey Mouse one in Daiso, so I thought I'd get that. I think I saw this the last time I was here as well, but I like the rice paddles. I think it makes, um, I just think it makes it really easy to get the rice out of the pan. And then, my back has been itching a lot, so I've got a back scratcher. <laughs> yeah, it was a really weird thing to buy. But this is like a little portable one, so I can take it with me. Um, <laughs> you, I have a big one at home, but it's not portable at all. Oh, this is a little, um, Tamagotchi catalog thing as well that I got, so I'll hold on to that. Um, this is another, uh, Gachapon we picked up. Um, I think this was in Kitty Land actually. I'll just open this up. I think I just threw it in this bag. Um, and Chris bought this one for me. He told me to pick which one I liked, and I did. He was, he was between hedgehogs or hamsters, and I chose hamsters. Let me see if I can show him a bit there. It's a little hamster guy. And he cut, he's supposed to hang off something, I think. So let me just see what the other ones were in the set. I hadn't actually opened this yet, so I didn't know which one I had. Ah, so he's supposed to hang off stuff. So you can hang him, like, off a of glass. Yeah, so the one I got is, um, yeah, is this one here, which you can hang off a of glass. They like to do lots of these kinds of like gachapon toys where they hang off things. I quite like them. I think they're sweet. So I got that one. 
those that we got from home. Um, and then I got some things for the prize box later on. I'm not going to show them. I'm going to put them all together at the end in another video. And I'll show you then. Let me see if I got anything else for me. I got a set of these for me. So these are little um, like sauce holders. And there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's a pig, a giraffe. It really look like a giraffe. A lion, an elephant, a rabbit, and a chicken, and a little thing for filling them up. And what you do is you can use this for salad dressing or like um, mayonnaise or ketchup or anything like that. And you need to carry with you when you're doing your lunch. So you got little things here. You can use it for soy sauce as well, I guess, if you were into that. So yeah, got that. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here for me. So I think everything else in here I bought for you guys. So that's cool. Oh, wow. I didn't mean to get that many. I thought I got one, but maybe I got loads. <laughs> Apparently I got loads. <laughs> or they were stuck together. Maybe they were stuck together. And I didn't notice that. I wonder if I paid for all of those or not. Hmm. Check for a minute. Because I got some stickers for you guys. And I thought I just picked up one. And there's a whole load of them here. So I'm not sure if I paid for... A load of them. I think I might have actually. I don't know. They might not have charged me for all of them because they were really stuck together really well. So maybe I got some free stickers. I don't know. I didn't know so much for it, so it's not my fault. Okay, so that's what I got from Daiso. And Daiso is like a hundred yen stop, um, shop in Japan. And they sell lots of really cool stuff. You wouldn't think it a hundred yen stuff. Um, shop you get good stuff but you get really good stuff there that was just more food I bought earlier um, okay and then this is the last bag I believe and this is from kitty land where I've got way too much and I got lots of blind bags as well blind boxes so I'll have to show you those as well so the first thing I got on oh, the bag is really awesome apparently um, it was like 15 hours till their anniversary so we went actually like on their anniversary the day before their anniversary so I wish I'd done known that and I would have been yesterday. It's their 17th anniversary and it's a really cool shop. It's one of my favorite shops in Tokyo. It sells so much cool stuff. So the first thing I got is a Volpex. Um, so we were in the shop and Chris found me a Volpex. Finally, um, they didn't have one at um, the Pokemon store other than the Ditto Volpex, which is the one I bought, but they had this one. So I got this one as well. I feel like I'm missing a bag, but I don't think I am. I'm a bit concerned, so I think I am missing a bag, so I might have to find that one. Chris might have had it. Yeah, I am missing a bag, so I'm missing the 90 stuff I got, so I might have to find that and then add it onto this video. Okay, so the next thing I got is this, this little manga book about a shark and a seal. <laughs> and mostly it just like seems to be lots of ways that the shark eats the seal. <laughs> um, it was just too good to pass up, and you can see the like shark chewing on the seal's head there. And um, little shark, a ske seal skeleton, and him getting like um, like uh, soy sauce poured on him. But that looks really cute, so I'm looking forward to reading that. And then I also got more from the same range of the shark thing because I thought it was really adorable. And so I got, let's get these out. I got two cups from it. The first one is like the shark just eating the seal. <laughs> Because it's just a very funny thing. The seal just seems so happy to be being eaten by the shark. And then I got a second one as well. Because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I ended up with both. So Chris is like, just get both. And um, the second one is a shark eating the seal uh, on a plate of pancakes. Which is really cute. <laughs> it's just, just so adorable. And Because um, I don't drink coffee or tea a lot of the time. I just drink juice or water or pop. So I use tumblers more than I do mugs, so it makes more sense when you get those. Um, and then I got a really cool thing, a really cool range um, that was there. And I did buy, um, I did film this range when I was there, so you'll see a few other things from it. And it is Gunatama and Godzilla. And they had a whole bunch of like Godzilla monsters. There wasn't one with an actual Godzilla on it, but it was all like the other monsters from Godzilla. I just got Gunatama, the lazy egg, with a Godzilla type monster. <laughs> and I don't understand. It's a badge. It's really cool though. But I don't, I don't understand why they came up with this. Where this kind of came from. Okay, so next, all the other things I got are blind boxes. So I'll show you the first two first. So these are cats. 
and these are cats that hang over stuff blind box these were 300 yen so about the same price as a gachapon so we'll see what we got um i got another set as well that i'll open in a second i didn't bring my scissors so i might struggle a bit oh shoot tore the box i'm gonna tear the box damn it Shouldn't put my scissors away. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, it's just little, very little. So it's just this like gray cat. Little gray cat. And let's see what he does. Ah, oh, so he sits on the side of a glass. So they all sit on the sides of glasses, so he just hangs off the front like that okay um i got another one of the same range let's see what the other one i got let's hope i don't ruin the box this one because i want to keep one of the boxes there we go that was better this time not as bad and this time oh i got a different one that's good so i got a black cat this time the black cat and He's the one that's kind of hanging off the edge there. So that's cool. And I got another two blind boxes. I'll show you those. I need the other box. Okay. So this is the other two blind boxes. And these are cushions. And they are um, little plushes, mini plush cushion. Uh, series snack time. I've got two of those. Just open these up. These were a bit more expensive. These were a thousand yen each, which is about seven pounds. So reasonable amount, but not overly too much. They come in a silver bag. I don't know what I've got. These are hard to feel because they're flush anyway, so you're not going really, to really be able to feel very easily. Let's get you open. There we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got Pusha eating a giant cookie. That's really cute. Oh, I like that. It is so cute. I don't think you can go wrong with pushing. He's he's just cute, too cute. Okay, so that was this one here, this giant cookie one. So there's other ones in the range. So it was like ice cream, donut, um, hamburger, cup, a taco, a pizza. I quite like. I think I quite like. I quite like the pink one. That's different. I don't know. I'd like them all. I just want two different ones, really. I'm happy as long as I get two different ones. So hopefully not the cookie one. Yay! I got a pink one. Oh, he's cute. So it's a pink one holding a cupcake. That's a little different. Yeah. Cool. Two different ones. That's great. And that one is this one. Box. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's good job. Good job, Melissa. Good. You did good on the blind bags. You didn't get the same one twice because I thought I might. Um, it's a worry when you're spending like about seven pounds on a, on a blind box that you get the same one twice. And that was. Um, so yeah, I do another box with the bags with the stuff, but I'll have to find it because I'm not sure where it's went. So just give me a second. And I will. And back, found it. There's two bags actually. There's a Disney Store one as well. I forgot I went there. So I'll show you the Disney Store one first, I think. I want to save the uh, vintage stuff for last. So, in this one, picked up loads of stuff from the Disney Store. I got Winnie the Pooh on at the moment. There's a couple presents in here, so I won't show those. Um, so, first thing I got is this Baymax little tissue holder. You can just put your tissues in that. It's very cute. And then, if I can get this out without showing the other thing, this, um, I think I can slide this out, open anyway, let's see, it's a little spoon, but I don't know if it's going to come out without me taking it, taking the whole packaging apart, which I don't want to do, because I want to keep it wrapped up so it doesn't break, nope, I'm going to have to, I can always refix it after, okay, so this is a little spoon, and it's Rapunzel and Pascal. This is a little teaspoon, and I quite liked it because it's got Rapunzel and Pascal as on it. And then, what else we got? 
Um, there's a couple blind boxes. I'll do these last. Got three blind boxes. I'll do them last. Uh, then I got these little Tsum Tsum 2 pack. Uh, Baymax and Hiro Nakamura in their battle outfits. That's quite cool. And then I got this another cup. <laughs> But lots of cups this trip. I used to buy loads of mugs, but now I buy lots of cups, it seems. Um, so this is another cup. And it is Goofy and Max. I absolutely love Max. The uh, Goofy movie is one of my favorite movies. I love the whole sequence at the beginning um, where he sings. It's like one of my favorite things ever. So as soon as I saw Max on merchandise, I'm like, oh, I'm having that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Goofy, funny enough. I love Max, but not the biggest fan of Goofy. So I was kind of torn whether to buy it. Because it had Goofy on it, but I did anyway. Because it had Max on it. And uh, I like Max. <laughs> so yeah, so let me just put these away and I'll open the blind boxes up. Okay. I need to pull away, guys, because I'm in a hotel room and I don't want to lose stuff. So I got three of these blind boxes. One is diff slightly different. And these are secret collection little keychains. So I got two of the same set. And if you look at this, you know who I want. I either want Max or Donald. Possibly Bianca as well, because that's an odd one in there. Actually, I'd be happy with both of them. I'd rather not have um, Doc or Chippendale. I'd rather avoid them or the big bad one. And then I got one last one as well. And this is like cats and creatures. This is volume three, so we've got the Aristocats on there. Looks like the Lion King as well, which is like a mystery one. And then we've got um, Jock and Thumper, uh, TikTok, and Marie. I think I'll do this one first, actually. I get into it. That's another little silver. Oh, it's not actually closed. Oh, we got Jock. Oh, he's very cute. So we got Jock. Very cute. I like Jock a lot. I've got a Sum Sum of him as well. So yeah, he's very sweet. Okay, put that in the box so we don't lose him. Okay, now I'll put the other ones. So let's see what's in these ones. <laughs> Oh, I think oh, they didn't fall out. I thought they fell out for a second. These are nicer shields because they just pull them over. Seems like a keychain. Oh, I got Cinderella. Oh, I didn't realize her the arms are like strings. I got Cinderella. She's not really one I would have wanted, but that's one I got. So, oh well. It's what it is. And let's see what the last one is. Oh, for Max, come on, Max, come on, Max, come on, Max, be in here, Max, be Max, be Max. This is the problem, you couldn't like figure out which ones these ones are. No way. Oh, darn, we got Doc. Oh, well, oh well. It's a bit of a crapshoot, this one. You never know what you're gonna get. I didn't get ones I wanted. I'm happy with Jock. The drill is okay, but I didn't want Doc. So, too bad. Okay, last thing. Last store. So, this is a really awesome store, guys. They had lots of vintage toys in it. Um, so, very cool. And it's called the World Connection. We're going to Nakano Broadway as well tomorrow. So, hopefully I'll be able to get some other cool stuff there. But, the things I picked up. And this is probably going to seem really out of character for me. But, actually, I really, really love Beavis and Butthead. Um, so, yeah. So I picked up loads of Beavis and Butthead stuff. There's also a present in here for someone as well, so I'm not going to show that. Um, so I've got these pins, which are awesome. Uh, so they say, this rocks, um, and then I am the great Conholio, <laughs> which is awesome. This is amazing. Um, and I can't believe I just found those. I was like, oh my god, I'm buying Beavis and Butthead stuff in the middle of Tokyo. Um, and then I got two of these, so I'm probably going to do one in a giveaway. I'll probably just give this away separately. Um, and they're just little wristbands that say, whoa, that was cool. <laughs> whoa, that was cool. <laughs> so I got those. And then the last thing I got is the most awesome. 
it's a talking keychain of Beavis and Butthead. This was only 580 yen. That's so cheap. It's like four quid. Actually, three quid. And it just does all these different phrases, so. favorite one. Sorry guys, my battery just cut out. So that was um, all the different Beavis and Butthead things. So we had um, Come to Butthead. But yeah, so this is really cool guys. I can't believe I found these and butthead stuff here. So odd, but so cool. Um, yeah, and I wanted to like buy everything that was there. Um, there wasn't very much, but it was like, oh, I should buy all this. Um, so yeah, so we're going shopping tomorrow in Nakano Broadway. Hopefully I'll find other cool little uh, vintage stuff tomorrow, I'm hoping. It was really cool to find the stuff today. Um, I also saw like a gizmo. Um, Gremlin, and I nearly bought that, and lots of other, like, older toys. Um, there wasn't anything specific that I needed, so I didn't buy too much with some older Garfield stuff as well. But yeah, so, very cool shopping day. Spent way too much money. <laughs> that seems to be the story of this trip. Um, but yeah, I had a really, really good day, um, at, uh, the Park Hyatt, having dinner there on Harajuku. And, um at uh, Akihabara. Oh, things I must tell you about. The Slurpees at Harajuku have disappeared. I was very disappointed. And also, Barbie Harajuku has also disappeared. Also very disappointing. So I had a couple big disappointments today when I went there. I only found out that it was actually closed when I went to um, go to Barbie Harajuku and looked up a Google Maps and it said permanently closed. I checked the website about two weeks ago and it was fine then and they were still online. So I don't know if the website just hasn't been taken down or what, but it was there and now it's gone, unfortunately, which sucks because I wanted to buy cute Barbie things. Um, also one of the shops I went in on Harajuku Street had all these vintage Barbies, which I took video of. And there was one, it had a Chicago Bulls Barbie and I really, really wanted it, but they weren't actually for sale, they were just all display. And it's like, what's the point? Don't put things on display that I want. <laughs> so hopefully I can find one somewhere else because actually I really, really want it now. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos from Tokyo. There'll be lots of footage because I did lots of filming today and earlier in the week. And I plan to do lots of filming tomorrow as well. So stay tuned for another haul video coming up soon as well as another like day video of what we did. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hey guys, Mel here. I really want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to click that button below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.